Puyaka Puyaka 619 Hey Puyaka Puyaka Ah Yo Vince Or Triple H We need to talk Hello guys, over at Gaming here and welcome back to another video. If you want to see some more wrestling content in this channel, then what I want you to do is 619 that like button and moonsault that subscribe button to see some more wrestling content right here on over at Gaming channel. And also click the post, po the post, the post notifications button to see first hand when a new over at the Gaming video is coming up. But today, let's talk NXT. Now, I love NXT. I'm a huge NXT fanboy. I'm not going to lie, okay? Um... You know, everything from the takeover matches, from the atmosphere, it's like a WWE's take on an indie show, and I absolutely love it. Um, but as of late, I've been seeing a lot of people say that it's been going downhill. And at first, I was kind of like, no way, okay? You guys are just tapped, you know? Uh, I, I was, I was, all, I, I, I mean, I was gonna DJ Storms it, okay? I was gonna be like, you guys are unintelligent wrestling fans, hell no, NXT is the greatest show of all time. But then I realised to myself, let's 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 look at what's been going on right here. And I sat down with with a mature head. And yeah, it has. It's not the same that it used to be. Yes, you could put it to main um, to certain reasons like NXT out of the three brands has really suffered the most from having no crowd, which is very true. Um, you also got to think about. Um, the cruiserweight thing like the whole Drake Maverick storyline is interesting but yeah you know and then we haven't really had you know uh, a, a booming talents you know it's kind of slowed down a bit uh, especially with all the releases going around um, so yeah NXT has taken quite a bit of a hit but I'm going to explain uh, NXT's biggest problem today um, in this video and hopefully I explain it uh, well than I did it doesn't make sense but either ways uh, for me NXT's biggest problem it's Charlotte Flair okay and before you before you, you, you come at me and like oh you're just hating her all right she didn't make it because she was a flair she did like listen right I for one love Charlotte okay I think she's the best female to do it um, period I, I don't think there's anybody better than her uh, there may be better wrestlers in ring uh, but when you have you know an aura and 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 a pers you know that presence about you you know she even though she is a flair and I, personally I don't think she's you know piggybacked off the flair name I think she's generally that good um, uh, it, it, you know you can you can tell you know that you know she's very special talent definitely no question about it where I draw the line is the overexposure and originally in my in my head anyway having her become NXT champion is such a great idea um, you have somebody who's a well-traveled superstar a decorated superstar like Charlotte you know former Royal Rumble winner Smackdown Raw and Raw Women's Champion uh, you know NXT Women's Champion twice now um, you know, when you look at somebody with the credentials that she has and also retiring people like Trish Stratus ending Aston Street, I don't think she should have won that. But again, I digress. Um, when you have somebody who is as good as her and has had the amount of accolades she has, um, having her come to NXT because she sees the talent and is like, you know what, I really want to have a gun. And then you have a lot of dream match affairs. You have, you know, Charlotte versus Rhea, Charlotte versus Eo, Charlotte versus Candice, Tegan, Dakota. You have a plethora of, of possibilities which are endless. And not only that, but somebody as well traveled as her makes the NXT Championship important because now you're thinking, holy crap, if somebody as good as her is coming to NXT to, to capture the NXT Championship, that means NXT is not a third brand anymore. That means that NXT is on the same level as Raw and SmackDown, which is great. That is a great idea. That is exactly what needs to happen. But that's not how it's turned out. Um, ever since she's won the championship, she's barely been on NXT. And when she has been, she's either berating somebody in a promo or interfering with a main event as a heel. And then not only that, but even if she's barely, you know, barely on NXT, that's, you know, fair enough, we can fix that, right? What I don't like as well is the fact that she's on Raw and SmackDown more than she is on NXT. So then it defeats the point 
why is you know the NXT champion the NXT champion if she's barely on NXT and is on the main roster? Now, if if you didn't want the NXT champ, if you didn't want somebody as big as Charlotte to to be on on, on you know on the main rosters as much as she has, um, if you didn't want her to to you know to to be on Raw and SmackDown, you shouldn't have put her on NXT. NXT is you know it, it, it should be, but like it was in the Ruthless Aggression era. Okay, every champion is exclusive to that show. Okay, they don't switch places, okay, that show is your show. Yes, fair enough, I love the crossovers, I love them, right, and fair enough, the brand to brand invitation sucks because it's a wild card 2.0, but I do like the, you know, the odd occasions where champions will go to the other brand for once, you know, if we look at in the past, you know, guys like Kurt Angle, that's what, um, guys like Booker T when he came from SmackDown to Raw, that was a funny segment with him and John Cena. You know, it, it's, it's happened before, we get it. But, you know, uh, when you have e when you have like, every week working all three brands because, you know, uh, I understand circumstances are a bit different, you know, you've got Becky, who's become the mother, congratulations by the way. Um, you, you know, you don't really believe that you have the star power. Um, that's not Charlotte's fault. You know, leave her on NXT and take the time to build on the roster that you have. Fair enough, you know, Tamina's a bit of a wild card, but at least they tried to do something with her. You know, um, Ruby Wyatt needs, needs desperate need of attention. Bianca Belair hasn't been seen on uh, Raw TV in months, and she's a star in the making. Naomi uh, jobbed out to, to Dana Brooke. You know, you, you've got, you've got uh, a, a, a plethora of talent, but instead, you, you're just filling it with Charlotte. That's not what we need, <laughs> you know what I mean? Leave her on NXT to handle business there. You're dragging down the whole women's divisions. And it's not, here's the thing, sorry, to bring that to my point there. It's not even like, say, she's making an appearance every week, right? No, it's not only that. Whoever she steps in the ring with, she's burying in them within like a couple of minutes. Like, it's a squat. Look at the Ruby Riot match, for instance, right? She came to Raw to, 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 to bury, like, to, to just squash raw talent that's not how it should be yes charlotte's good but she's on nxt now it should be an evil playing an even playing field at least you know what i mean i i, I just feel like they've, they've gone about this the completely wrong way and not only that but it's, it's overexposing charlotte as well and it, whether you're trying to make her a face or a heel which i still don't know what i don't know she's a face it's it's difficult, and if you don't know what I'm on about, look at the uh, Bailey Charlotte promo last week on SmackDown. You didn't understand why she was bragging about uh, being the queen, and I, you know, I get to work all three brands because I'm that good. And and then when she comes to Bailey, she's like, oh, you know, I'm a I'm a fighting champion. Why don't I fight you next week? It's kind of like, like what 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 am I what am I trying what am I supposed to be seeing here? Um, and it, it just it's okay. Final point. This is how I this is how I I, I point this. Okay. Leave Charlotte on NXT. Okay. Stop with this brand to brand invitation crap because it doesn't work. Okay. Maybe the old crossover. All right. That's simple enough. But also have her be the mainstay of NXT. Have her be that one who's like, okay, you know what? I've come to NXT. They'll come back to NXT to see what the talent's like, see you know how well they stack up against the NXT champion, and then you have it as the, as all these women are trying to knock her off her perch, and she can be this really detestable heel who's just like, ha ha, you know, you tried to beat me, but you know, you're not as good as a player, so ha 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 ha, and then meanwhile you have the time to build your SmackDown Women's Division, build the Raw Women's Division. Build the tag team division. I think what they're doing with the Iconics is pretty cool right now. And the thing is, WWE storytelling as of late has been very, very good. So use that time to build. Use that time to, to elevate your stars and not just have somebody uh, like rule, like ha not, well, not rule over them, but not have somebody just you know use the golden shovel. They haven't learned lessons from the likes of John Cena and Roman Reigns, and it's clear to see uh, because it's kind of like. 
You know that episode of Spongebob where, you know, uh, he's like, oh, nothing's working. I guess I'll bring out old reliable and brings out that jellyfish in, like, that jellyfish in that. Like, that's what I feel like Vince is doing. And it's, it, a brief new life. You have so much more talent in there. You know what I mean? Yes, Charlotte is great. Yes, she's a main event star. But don't have a run through everybody else because you don't know who else to put on or you can't be bothered to put on new stars or you don't know how to grow your divisions. You know what I mean? And that's been a WWE problem for years now. For years of growing new people. You've released so many people. Let's see you, you know, make do with who you have. Um, and I feel like that's the big problem which WWE really needs to get over. But that's going to bring this video to an end. Uh, this is a, a weird rant, <laughs> but you know, at the end of the day, I, I, I'm passionate about wrestling and I, I, I love WWE to death, um, despite how many times they piss us off. But <laughs> either ways, I'm going to end this video here. So have you, if you have liked this video, leave a like, please subscribe for more Hear Me Out episodes. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Have a great night. Bye now.